Hey, this is Jana. I'm excited to announce the next knit along in our sloth series. So the sloth series is where we go through a pattern super slow and you get all the help you, that you need. And so you can ask questions in the Facebook group, in the comments down below each tutorial video, or in the Ravelry group. So I check all three of those regularly and make sure that you get all the help you need. So the next knit along series that we're gonna do is mittens. So we did a poll and the vote was overwhelmingly that everyone wanted to do mittens. But the thing is, some people wanna do more complicated mittens than other people do. And so the pattern that I've chosen is the World's Simplest Mittens by Tin Can Knits. And I'll put a link to that down below. And that's a very straightforward mitten pattern. But for those of you that wanna have a little bit of a challenge, we're gonna do some color work on the back of the hand, on the back of the mitten. Now, if you don't wanna do the color work, all you have to do is just disregard that part and knit. Just knit it in the round and knit it plain. And I'll, I'll make sure that that's clear when we go through the pattern. So here's a little preview of the sample one that I'm working on. Ooh, isn't that cool? So I found a little chart in a book that my mom had and then I took some design elements out of that and I added my own little twist on it. So that's the preview. I don't want to spoil it too much. Just a little sneak peek of what's to come. But again, if the, you're not ready for the color work and you're a beginner knitter, don't, don't worry about it. We'll just knit it plain. You can just have a plain mitten and have a pair that, ma that makes you happy. So the reason I like this pattern so much is that you can knit it in fingering, DK or sport weight, worsted weight, or even bulky and chunky. So the pattern has numbers and sizes for each of those four yarn weights. Now a little word about yarn, okay? If you don't have a very big stash yet or you're not sure what you want to use, I'm going to suggest that you call my favorite yarn store over in Laramie, Wyoming. And you're thinking, well, geez, that's nowhere close to me. But the thing is, the people over there, Lori and Maureen, they're fabulous. They, can, they are very familiar with this pattern. I was talking to them last weekend when I was there, and they are totally willing to get you whatever you need, hook you up, even build you a little kit with the yarn that you'd want for the color work or knitting it plain, the needles that you need, and they'll bundle all that up and send it to you two-day priority mail. They don't pay me. They don't sponsor me. I just think they're fabulous people, and I believe in supporting the little local mom-and-pop shops rather than ordering online if you can. So consider that because they're awesome. Anyway, all right, so we're gonna start our cast, the cast on video will be Monday the 17th. That's when you, you'll get started with me. If you wanna start sooner, that's fine, uh, but that's when I will have the first video live and we'll, there'll probably be three or four in the series, I'm thinking by the time we do the cuff and we do the color work on the back of the hand and then we will knit it all the way up and then we'll pick up the thumb. So that'll be some, you know, some technical things for you to learn. So I'm really looking forward to it. As always, we'll have our, our chat threads going in our Facebook group so you can get help and ask questions. All right, let me tell you about my visit to Cowgirl Yarn last Saturday. So I was there not only to, to visit with them about our knit along and, and maybe helping out my knitters and mailing stuff to you, how, but I was also there to pick up some delicious yarn, just squishable yarn for another project I'm working on for a friend. This is um, Baraco Ultra Alpaca and it's just lovely. And they wound it for me. You gotta love that because I don't mind winding yarn, but I have a Swift. It's not like the umbrella kind of a Swift that expands and contracts and so it's kind of a weird thing to adjust and it doesn't always work out right. And then I have to get my husband to stand there or my kids, you know, stand there with the skin like this and yeah. Anyway, thanks Maureen for winding my skeins. I have four. So that was lovely. And then I go, I go up to the counter and of course they have all the fun gadgety things at the counter and I'm a gadget, you know, I'm a gadget gal. <laughs> so I like all the little tools and the, the stuff. So I see this magnetic knitters necklace kit. Check this out. So it's a pendant and it's cool because it's kind of a natural color. It also comes in a reddish one. Um, and I think they still have a couple at Cowgirl Yarn. If you want to call them, I'll bet they'd mail it to you. Um, in fact, I know they would. So let me tell you about this. So it comes with stitch markers and a couple, three different sizes of cable needles. It's made by Knitter's Pride and no, they don't sponsor me either. I just like to share stuff I find. And so it's a magnetic pendant. So you wear this and then the stuff that comes in the little tool pouch 
it's magnetic. So no more losing your cable needle like down on the edge of the recliner. And there's little magnetic stitch markers. See, check that out. Look at that. See how it sticks on there? How cool is that? I'm so easily entertained by these things. Anyway, I think the whole kit, let's see, there's, I don't know, probably two dozen stitch markers in there. I, it probably tells me on the back of the box, tw oh, 20. Five of each of four types of stitch markers. It comes with the pouch, the stitch markers, and three cable needles, the center scoop one, the J hook, and a double pointed. So three different kinds of cable needles that are magnetic, and then the necklace. So you're sitting there, knit, 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 and you have to do your cable. Well, I tend to put my cable needle in my mouth. Bad, that's bad. <laughs> or I tuck it behind here, and then I can't even find it. So I'm gonna try the magnetic pendant thing. So I think the kit altogether was, oh, it was just over $30. It might have been $31.95, $32. Includes all the stuff. Love it. Anyway, I'm sure uh, Lori and Maureen can get that for you, too, if you want them to, to hook you up. Two-day priority mail. All right. So I think that's about it. We're going to cast, like I said a moment ago, we're going to cast on. The cast on first video in the series will be live next Monday, the 17th, hopefully. I have a hiking weekend, Saturday and Sunday, so barring any travel delays, I'll be back and have that video uploaded for you next Monday, the 17th. And we'll cast on and be all about mittens for the next month. As always, I really appreciate it if you like and subscribe to my videos and let me know if you have any questions. All right, knit on, my friends.